Today I got a little review on how to put this together and how to set up your Epson scanner and also if it's worth buying it and what you should look for when you're purchasing one of these. So let's get into this review and see what we got. Okay so the first thing you want to do is go on to your computer. Uh, it comes with the disc but it was not being read by my disc scanner um, or reader and so it tells you to go onto the Epson website so it's epson.com forward slash support click on scanners once you click on scanners it'll take you to this page you type in what uh, model you have so once you do that it'll pop up like this you go to download run the download click here and then run it like normal okay once you're done running it, you get the Epson scan logo here. It won't let you open it up until you connect the um, scanner itself. So I kind of just got this stuff laid out right now because I just took it apart or took it out of the box. Um, so you get your power brick and everything. Uh, you got your cord. I left it rolled up because I don't need that much right now. I'm just trying to get it to work. And then over here you have... Uh, a little slide lock which is kind of weird because it tells you to slide it open in order for you to put this cable in which that is your power cable or not your power cable but your USB cable so it has a lock on it for some odd reason um, and then you uh, connect this part connect your power here USB here go down connect it to your computer, your USB, which is this area, power's here. Push the power button on. Uh, once it's powered on, it'll do its thing. Hold on, let me turn it off real quick. Okay, so it does its thing. One thing you wanna inspect is little tiny fragments like that in underneath the glass. That's an issue. Um, that's an issue with everything that's a flatbed scanner because you'll see that when you print your stuff or scan it. So that's going to be a major issue. This one's going to have to be sent back. Okay. Another thing to look at, of course, you want to remove this tape. But this back panel that uh, doesn't allow glare on your picture and it illuminates the backing. So that way you get a uh, real crisp and clean... Um, scans this one's warped right here so that's kind of funky um, these are replaceable as you can see you just pull them out but that's an issue um, but as far as the way it looks let me turn this off and turn it back on again so as far as this thing looks it looks pretty cool it lights up with the bar up front um, and then all you do is press scan. Okay, so I got this card stock here. I'm gonna scan. This is the quality of it, okay? It's a coaster. It's a reprint, so it's pretty cool. 805 by a veteran of beer. So I'm gonna place that in there in the top corner, like it says. And it gives you A4 sizes. Uh, you got all these different sizes up to the max size is A4, okay? You got letters here, A, B, C, and then you got A4 size here, uh, giving you the profile of paper or image that you could scan. So it's a pretty good size. Okay, so, so what we're going to do is close this down, okay? Once I close that, I'm going to go here. I'm going to customize it. We're going to scan at typical... 300 is typical. I'm going to do about 600 to see how long it takes. Okay. So then we're going to go scan. You hear it running. It's going to run through its paces. Okay. And then it should pop up over here in my pictures album. Still scanning the document. It even gives you a preview of it. Okay. And then once it turns off over here, it shows up here, double click, 
and then that's the skin that we have. Okay, so now I'm gonna uh, try another pixel per inch uh, resolution and see what we could get if there's any difference here. All right, so we're gonna go to customize and then I'm gonna try 1200 and we'll see how long it actually takes us to do 1200. So it shows a little question mark, bam, it scanned it. Now it's probably doing color adjustments and all that stuff. See, color photo scanning. So it's making those corrections. It's not over there yet, that's the first one. Now it's going back over it to really get the details and uh, see where it could uh, properly color correct everything to make sure that it has the best quality possible. The problem when you buy the the faster ones, like the Fast Photo, Scan Snap, and the, those types of uh, scanners, is um, they're fast, but they're only 300 pixels um, and 600 pixels for the resolution. This one will go all the way up to 1200. And those faster ones, you're paying a premium of around that $500 range. So as you can see, it went back over here so yeah so you're paying a premium for that and as you could see it probably took like 10 seconds to scan that not very long at all uh, I'll open them up right now but like I said you're gonna pay a premium for the faster scanners and they're not gonna give you anything above 600 pixels per inch so it's nice to get that 1200 at this one costs 219 dollars which is really great I mean, a lot of people were uh, having complaints about uh, running out on Windows 10, or some people were at least. And as you can see, I have no issue on Windows 10. So let's take a closer look. I mean, to be honest, I can't see a difference, really. You can see that like a ring mark that got stained. Cause like I said, these are uh, cup holder or um, little uh, coasters okay so the difference I've seen here is the original one the first one at uh, that's 600 pixels per inch this is the furthest I could zoom in this is all it's letting me zoom into the one at 1200 it allowed me to zoom in way further so as you can see I'm like all the way zoomed in and come here and then do the same thing and I'm all the way zoomed in and as you could tell 1200 allows you to zoom in way more double so if I go to 50% zoom I'm still zoomed in more than the 600 at full resolution and I believe that's why you know doing it at a higher resolution you're able to blow things up a little bit more I mean, someone with more knowledge on this stuff could chime in and um, talk about it in the comments below. Any questions you have can be uh, talked about in the comments below. Um, but that's just from what I have. And this isn't a quality picture either because it's all dots that create the image. But just looking at the two, you could tell that you could zoom in a lot more when you have the higher resolution. Okay, so I gapped it out about an eighth inch and it did pick them up independently that's amazing one of two and then two of two so here's one gave us that one cropped it nicely and then here's the second one just popped in bam and then this is what it looks like So it has about a quarter inch, not an eighth inch. So that's gonna complete today's little quick uh, review on how I'm gonna use it and how fast it was, whether or not it's worth you purchasing this or purchasing um, the faster one. Like I said, quality pictures will come from this. 
uh, versus the other ones where you're limited to 600. Um, but of course, it's, they're a little bit faster with the one second. But I mean, you're only going to do it once. And then after that, you're probably not going to ever have to scan in too many uh, pictures again once you get through them all. Uh, also, like all this PDF, mail, and uh, I don't know what that one does. But that one's to also run it. Um, it shows all that in the instructions. I mean, the way I'm running it is just the same way I showed you. Uh, it's energy efficient. It has digital ice technology. Um, but yeah, I highly recommend this for what it is and the price point. Um, I don't like that it had dust underneath. I, like I said, other people have that same issue. They just return it. That's why I recommend buying from Amazon because I'm returning this. They're already sending me a new one right now and I'm gonna return this right away. Uh, UPS is gonna pick it up. But that's the nice thing about Amazon versus like eBay or a website. You don't have to wait to get the product again. Um, but that's the only downfall to these is they pick up stuff underneath, especially during the assembly process. And the only way you're gonna see it is I can't really see it here. The only way I seen it was when the scan came through and illuminated those areas. So that's the only downside I see. This really didn't matter too much. It picked up just fine. Um, but other than that, the Epson Perfection 600 photo is an amazing deal. $219 versus the other ones. And I highly recommend it, definitely. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate that. If you want to see content like this and other content I'll be posting in the near future, definitely consider subscribing. Until next time, I'll see you all in the next one.